All right, the purpose of these steps is to provide instructions on how to physically install the wireless access point. The mounting process is simple and requires common tools. The access point mounting plate is designed to accommodate multiple mounting methods. Locate the Cisco Aeronet 1130G from the pre-conversion activities performed during the arrival and unpackage the device. The device is powered over the internet so the power supply is not needed. Before physically installing the access point, open the cover. The cable should, the cable installer should have left an orange cable dangling from the patch panel, labeled cap. Remove this cable and attach one end to the Aeronet switch in port 16 or 18. The lights of the Cisco enable on top should turn green. Connectivity may take up to five minutes. Skip number 17 and 18 mounting the access point. Test procedure. Ensure the NOC engineer has pin connectivity to the device while it's locally connected to the switch. What you need to install is the mounting bracket, two wall, two, two wall screws, wall anchors for the screws, and the security clasp. Using the mounting plate as a template to mark the locations, the two mounting holes labeled with an X and the location of the cable access. Drill a 3 16 inch hole at the X mounting hole locations you marked. Insert the wall anchors into the mounting holes. Measuring nine feet from the floor to the bottom of your mounting bracket. Using the X holes already provided for you, go ahead and drill the mounting plate to the wall. Now using the key ports, line up everything, making sure it snaps into place. Take your rest of your cord, go ahead and install your adapter. Secure your cable using your security screw, the smallest one. Find the hole it should go into, drill that up there, which is that guy right there. Drill that in, put your security clasp right into place, making sure it snaps, and that should be it.